So welcome to Super Mario Sunshine, episode 6. And we're going to get straight back in. We've got 27 Shine Sprites now. Now, that's quite a lot. And the last episode, we ended up on Peanut Park, I think, wasn't it? With the, with the pirate ships, I believe. And this episode, I think we're going to go in and do probably more Peanut Park, to be honest. I can't remember what we got left to do now, though. We'll have a look now. So, I'm going to get it. I've also got something very cool to show for the next part of the video, but what do I mean next part? I mean like a bit later on, a bit later on, something cool to show. So let's just uh, squid, put the toy. Oh, dude! <laughs> what the f- oh, all, right, all right, ignore my, um, uh, yeah, ignore this. And, yep, since I last recorded, I did record quite a lot in one day. And I could, I was going to record yesterday, but I couldn't. Because uh, of one four hour Saints Row video that I was editing, took ages. Four hours and 14 minutes, that's how long it is. That's a ridiculous amount of time. And yeah, I've changed the camera and I was back on the, this monitor. I forgot, right? Because when you start it on this monitor by the right of me, just because it it, when the, the monitor's run the other way, it doesn't reach, but it perfectly reaches now. Because it's closer to the computer. So there we go. I can have. I think that's what I originally added when I used to play before. Yeah. Anyway, this one is episode four, The Wilted Sunflowers. So yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I thought that would be corner. And oh look, there's some mysterious y Yoshi looking eggs in the middle of the beach. So let's, let's talk to this. Uh, what, what are these called? I forgot what these are called again. I didn't think Yoshis were bad creatures, would you? Yeah. This isn't the first time we get Yoshi, is it? No, these, no, these are not Yoshis as well. So let's spray them, and... Ew! <laughs> and there we go, yeah, we got him. Yeah, so... If... Oh. All right, there we go. The sunflowers unwilted. If that's the right word. All right, so you, as you can see, we get like a lot of coins for stuff like this. But this one is like the easiest way to get all the coins is with when the mole is throwing grenades at you. I think. See these, boy. I genuinely think you spray them. Um. No, 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 no. They, they for later, and I'll remember. I won't forget them. Anyway, let's um continue on our path of pissing these off. There we go, he's taking a run up. We take a backflip. Tea bag, squish. <laughs> what was it? Bang, and the dude is gone. Oh, okay, yeah, and after we finished doing this thing with the sunflower, I've got, I've got a cool Mario Sunshine collectible to show you. Well, no, is it a collectible? I mean, it technically is. You know, I would like to get collectibles and stuff for these games, but. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, I'd like to. His knee's supposed to be... Well, I don't know why it took him so long to realise that we was there. Yeah, I would like to get collectibles for these games, but... You know, if they were rare, they... Like, I don't know, it's like they didn't do much promotional stuff for this game. Like, it would've been cool if they didn't... Imagine if they didn't lose a t-shirt. How cool would that have been? They still have, like, a Mario Sunshine t-shirt. I mean, they probably did, didn't they, for, like, employees and stuff, but... I mean, there's nothing more in the world I'd want than a Mario, a cool Mario Sunshine merchandise. It's like the coolest thing ever. And there we go, there's another sunflower. Raising from the surface. Um, what are these things anyway? Because these are gonna, they, they probably wouldn't seen in Mario games before this, would they? Yeah, I d and I don't know what Mario game to play next after this, because Mario games are great, aren't they? I should have really done Mario, uh, Mario 64 first, but... I didn't. Oh, no, no, it's because I didn't have a, I don't have an N64 controller. I want to play with that. I mean, it's like... I mean, you can't really play these on an emulator, on an emulator with GameCube controllers. I mean, do they sell USB GameCube controllers? Because they'd have, like, analog but buttons on at the back. There's the triggers, but like, like they're like it's like two buttons basically. 
What is this? Delfino Plaza. And he's zooming in on the pineapple up there. Oh, well, that's interesting. I mean... And it's, it's creepy because we haven't seen Shadow Mario back now for ages. The last time we saw Shadow Mario is when we confronted him in Peanut Park uh, as Mecha Bowser. And the time before that probably would have been like the, the, the first, well, the first ever time. When he's tried to kidnap Princess Peach right at the start. So, yeah, he does have something for us over there. But I want to showcase this first. And this is really cool. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And I'll show you now. So, I have got another copyright, and in the... Right, I've already had one for years anyway, but I bought a mint condition one for £15. Then I got another one now, so I've got three Mario Sunshines. And it's complete with all the inserts, manual, like, everything's there underneath. It's nice. Club Nintendo point thing. Right, it's very, very, very nice condition again. So I've got another one. I don't know what to do with them. See, if, if these got views, I would probably give them away. I got this though. This is really cool. It was bundled with that, and I did. I've, I've explained this in the other videos. But yeah, Mario, can you stop? Why are you snoring? This is interesting. Anyway, I've got, I've got this book. It, it did look. It says but there. You can see, it says free postcards inside. All right, and as you can see, it's still all attached. So I've got all these really nice postcards. I mean, just look at them. Dribble my hand. They're, they're in really nice condition. But what this book does is it shows you if you can read with the it's the official strategy guide, Super Mario Sunshine. All shine sprites revealed. All blue coins exposed to it. I, oh, there's the back as well. If you can see the back. Everything exposed. Shine sprites, blue, blue and red coins, nozzle boxes, costume changes. Costume changer, what's that? It's costume changes. Unless they mean the nozzle? No, 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 the nozzle box. What's costume changes mean? What does that mean? Oh, anyway. Combo moves, secret areas, complete quick path walkthrough, that's probably the quickest way to do it. Comprehensive, comprehensive boss battle techniques, effective solutions for all mini games. Um, In-depth walkthrough featuring maps for every area. Detailed training section covering all of Mario's moves plus combo and expert controller techniques. That is really cool. On oh, there, I think they got the price up there. Right there we go. It says up there. GameCube platform. Well, games action platform. Nintendo GameCube. And there we go. US, fourteen ninety nine dollars. Canada, who is $19.95, and then UK, $12.99. This is the thing I miss most about games, is these strategy guys. And I, you know what, I, I would never play a game for the first time with a strategy guide. But, where did I put my There he is, back there. Right. I would never play games first time playthrough with a strategy guide, but they are so cool that I just read through anyway. But, I don't know. I don't know, it's, it's just insanely cool to own these things. I would like a Mar uh, Banjo Kazooie one, uh, as we've already established in previous videos. But the problem with them is. Well, the problem with that is. I don't know, wait, they, they, I think there's a few, isn't it? Maybe I have to get more. I think they have a few with them. But they, I think they do have. Yeah, they, have, they do have a Nintendo Power. Mario Sunshine. Well, I think I'll have to get myself that as well. That's what I'm going to do now. Every game I'm playing, I'll try and get collectibles for it. Apart from, like, Terraria, because... I mean... Oh, the, only th the only thing I wanted with Terraria before was the Night's Edge. Oh my god, there's bouncing on our head. Yeah, the only thing I wanted before with Terraria was the Night's Edge sword. I forgot what the shop was. There was a shop that was selling it, and I just didn't get it. I, I was going to get it. Went back to get it, like, probably, like, three months later. Just gone then. Darn. And I was just about to roll that Yoshi too. So it is Yoshi. Ah, so if we bring him some bananas. Oh my god. You befriended Yoshi. Make him eat with B. Now, this is probably one of the things that makes this game like even greater than you would have thought it was when you when you're playing it, you know what I mean? It just gets even better. Because now we've got an 
unlock Yoshi, and we we can do quite a lot of things with this Yoshi. Not what you're thinking. So, <laughs> so stop it. There is the pineapple there, though, which we can just do that. I mean, you know, and just completely get it, you know, as if it was nothing. But there's also different things for us to get. We can interact with them. I'm gonna call them pineapples because I always they always remind me of like cut up like like sliced up pineapples. So you can spray the pineapples up there, and you can get in there now. Um, there's also what's, other, what's the other things you can do? Oh yeah, you spin jump in and jump in with Yoshi. It's the most coolest thing in gaming history. Right? So that's every world available to us now. Because yeah, like we've already established, you, you, can, you can get up there with the right, given the right technique is used. But anyway, we're not gonna. Uh, do you know what? I actually want to get up there early. I, I do actually want to get up there before the other thing. I wonder if we can actually get up there with Yoshi. Let's, uh, before we um, go back in there, I think I want to try and mess around and get in there with Yoshi. Because I, I, I think uh, you can. If you time it right, you should. You should be able to jump up there with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can easily get up here with Yoshi. Oh no, I, that's to that is murder, isn't it, Ashley? Anyway, we'll go back. I want to try it. I just want to go in there. You know, the most special thing to me about this game is doing like these, like the things that you're not supposed to be doing. I don't know. I think it's really cool. There's like so much stuff you can do. You can, like get out there with Yoshi. There's a quick way to get all these things with Yoshi. Because if you could see a lot of these like far off islands, I think they need Yoshi, and it's a really, really long, like a insanely long trip. And if you didn't know with the Yoshis, they need feeding. If they don't get fed after a while, that's it. They are completely done for. So this stays you, right? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that because in the future it will go. That will go, that will not be there. There's only I'm pretty certain as soon as we go into a level and come back out, that will not be there again. Like Yoshi. Alright, so what we'll do. I mean camera, please work. Alright, there we go. Oh my god, it does not feel right being up here. It's so cool every time you get it. But yeah, it's like it's like a million times easier with Yoshi. That, so that's one way you can get up here, because like, we, we, we are really not supposed to be up here right now. Like, at all. But you can get up here with zero shine sprites, which I should have I should have tried my hardest to get up here in the first episode. But I forgot you had to, like, triple jump. That's what you have to do in Mario. To get the most... Um, you have to, yeah, you have to make the most out of his highest jumping maneuver, yeah. That's what you have to do. So what we're going to do now, we're, we're actually going to go in there. I know, that's, I know that sounds strange, considering... You know, you've just seen us unlock level. That's no, no. Actually, wait. Can I just say that they give you that one first, but on the actual stat page, that one is in front of it, right? So that one is in front of Noki Bay. So yeah, that, which is crazy. Anyway, I want to go in here because to me, there's nothing more special than getting up here when you shouldn't be up here. So welcome. To the episode one of Pianta Village, Chain Chomplets Unchained. And I know this is crazy, and I shouldn't really be doing this so early on, but I don't know, it's like a special feeling when you come and do this, and it's so cool. Because it's like, we, we shouldn't be here. This is the last level on the game. It's so good. This is so cool. I like it so much. Uh, this level is really iconic as well. And yeah, I, w I would have been to this level like a lot of times because I used to try I used to try this all the time. You know, it's so cool though. There is a lot, a lot of blue coins, and I've, as I've already um, talked about, that I have never 100% complete this game. I've never even done the last boss fight or anything. I've I've not done anything, all right? And yeah, let me get to the point. There is still two blue coins that I've never unlocked in this level. All right, and I think there might be a secret shine sprite that I've not unlocked in this level. So yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that's going to be interesting to see if we can actually find them all. all. right. Hey, mister. Think you could spare us a hand here? This dear lady's pets have decided to go on a little rampage. No, not the bees. They seem to be acting normal. All right, so if we could see up here, this chain chomplets. 
And I, yeah, I could. Do you know what? I used to come here all the time, but I don't think I ever finished it because I didn't know what to do. But all you gotta do is spray them so they're not hot. And then, yeah, you, you, you pull it off and then shoot it. There we go. And he's probably gonna get hot again. So if we just pull him off again and then just shoot him into the pool. There we go. No, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. Right. It's not you. It's down here. Alright, hang on. We'll do this one. We'll do this one. Alright, hang on. Hang on. Oh, come on. You basically. We, we monumentally fucked that up, man. Alright, ignore everything I'm doing, just just ignore. Right. Let's get this one. Spin jump, there we go, there we go. We might be able to get... We might be able to get... We're gonna die! Alright. Yeah, we have got to be careful that we don't die by you. I'm just going to let go. I don't know where he went off to, but... Up there. Alright, we'll just get this one. I know I'm doing this really bad. Now, I wonder if um, speedrunners have a fun time on this. Is he coming up this way? He is as well. I'm going to try and um, hit him off there. I don't think he went in there, do you? Anyway, we can heal back up there. He might have went in there. I don't know. Anyway. You'll see now when we get one. This one's going to go in there. There we go. And there we go. He's cooling off. So that's the first one. That's officially the first one. Right, I think, though, by you, I think if we spray that. No? Oh, there's, some, there's, a, there's too much blue coins in this one. I'm just going to say that now. That's the easiest way to say it. Oh, so comfy. So nice. Relaxing. It's cool. The spring always hits the spot. It's completely refreshing. No better place to cool down than right here. I agree. That it does It does look very refreshing. There is a blue coin that I want to show right now in here as well. Because it, it's one of the... Is he going to win? Oh, he's right in the head. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. What is this? Gonna go Put them a little bit. There we go. So it's just this one now. This, yeah, a really cool thing I want to show. I don't know if it, it might not. I think it might not even be accessible in this, this part. Oh yeah, shit. Let's just get some coins. I'll try it though. Anyway, it, and did I say? I don't know if I said it or not. It is for blue coin. Why are they so hot? Anyway. I might try it now, actually. Is it up here? No. Up here. That's where it is. Right. If you do this, go here. Look. This, I found this one myself. And shoot up there to the moon. There we go. A blue coin spawns. No, that's probably the fucking... That's probably one of the fucking like hardest ones you could do. But I, I, I don't know how I even found that. Yeah, that's like one of the ones I found on my own, and that's crazy. But because this level is so like I, I don't know, it's so strange. It's hard. It's actually hard to find them. Even though it's probably not even the hardest one to find them all on. It's probably yeah, really not. It could actually be one of the easiest ones if you you know to, to actually get them all. It is quite easy to get up this tree like this a second, but it doesn't matter. We messed up. Oh, they do actually try and attack you then, do they, these chain chomplets? I try and hit him off that. No, that didn't work. I tried to get him in the corner so he bounced down there. Is he gonna go in? Yeah, there we go. 
Remember, always be kind to your pets here. Remember that. Right, there we go. And, yeah, I showcased basically everything I wanted to do in this level a second. I mean, let's go talk to this black man with a moustache, though. <laughs> the underside world has fungi beyond compare. Beyond compare, truly. There are some enormous mushrooms going down there. You fucking druggy. That's what you are, you're a druggy. <laughs> anyway, I can't wait till we can come back and explore this level a bit more, but this is a little... What's it? It's a, a, a little teaser. A taster or a teaser. But whatever one you want to use, that's what this is. Now let's go and get this shine spread. I, I think it's up... It's like... It's, it's on one of these mushrooms then. Oh yeah, I jump with a jump then and I'm out. We can hear you. Is it... Oh, if I can see it now. It might be up there, actually. Is it up there? Hmm. So he was just going to go and collect it. It, it. I thought it was up on one of the mushrooms. Let's be up there. What do we get for this? Okay. Yeah. Alright. We'll find it now. There it is. Yeah, right there. Look how nice that shine sprite looks just off into the distance. Oh, this is... I love this lava. That's what the thing. I, I don't think this game has a. I don't think it has a weak level. Yeah, I, I don't know if it got that then because the camera went off. But I don't like. I was saying I don't think this game has a weak level. It's quite. It's a. Re, it's a strong game. Anyway, let's see what we're gonna do again now. With what cutscenes are gonna be? It's gonna be another one for us. Yes, it is. And I actually think that this might be it for the game. This might be it. Like, for all the cut in terms of all the cutscenes. With, with Shadow Mario. Actually, am I wrong? I might, be, I might be really wrong on this. But I hope not. Anyway, I, I think we're, gonna, we're not going to get that one in a minute. Right, we're going to jump down here. So that was a little taster of that level. I don't want to go in any of the other ones a second. And I don't... I'm, I'm really... Uh, it's like, um, I don't know which one... Uh, when we get uh, past P Peanut Park, I don't know whether we should actually do Noki Bay or Serena Beach. I don't know. And what's your favourite level in this game? I'm going to say mine now. Mine's Serena Beach. Right, the runaway Ferris wheel. Oh, I like this level. I do like this level. I think what we'll do in this episode, we're just going to get to... We'll probably just get to episode 7 on Peanut Park. And I know we've been on for 23 minutes already, so that's... We need... Basically, like, halfway through with the video. Anyway, we're going to get there. Oh, and if you're wondering... Like, I didn't mention this in the other episode. I was going to, but I thought, oh, let's just get in the park. But these, right, are unlocked with the missiles. So when he's down there with the missiles, what you do... You come here... Then you get the missile to follow you back. Just jump on it and it'll break. Anyway. I think... Will he give us shades? No, let's see if he gives us shades. Hey, I think you're in need of a pair of my special sunshade. Oh, well. Then again, you're not ready. Yeah. I'm pretty certain it's sturdy, right? Well, I want... And I want... I don't know if I... I don't know where I've got that from. from. Or if I'm just, like, guessing. But I want to check whether I'm correct or not. Right, what do we need? A pineapple. Is it a weight? Is, is it even a weight? There is a way you get it here. But where are the pineapples? That's what we want to know. I mean, it has to be a way to get it because... He is needed by a... Unless it's just there and you need him on later ones. That's it. Right, we'll quickly... We'll have a brief look. See if there is any. It looks like there's not, though. What was he going to say to us? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I do, I do like the way they'd all get really angry when you jump on their head as well. 
<laughs> that's quite I, I, that's quite funny. <laughs> <You're> like <laughs> If you're looking for the moon yeah we know we know we know. We just wanted to check if you was gonna give us a pineapple, you bastard. Yeah, it, it might be used for a later one. It might like that might it might just be there, but it might not even be accessible to us. Right now, because what if you didn't know as well, when you go in here, there is no coming back out. You can't get back to this part. It's like two different levels. Welcome to Peanut Park. We know. We've been here a lot. But look, now he's going to press into the actual cutscene for the level. So there we go. And this is the runaway Ferris wheel. Because what's on there? A massive electric turtle. You bastard. Now, like, this can be done pretty quick, I think. So we'll do it as quick as possible. I don't know why I went this way. Can't, you can't get around it, can you? We'll try our best. Can I just say, you're really, really not supposed to do what I've done then. And I've never even tried that before. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, that is supposed to take ages. He's, well, it's not supposed to take ages, you know what I mean. Alright, you... Yeah, because you're supposed to... You know, I feel, I feel it's kind of wrong doing it that way. Because they put all that feature there for you. <laughs> underneath. Like, the Ferris wheel slowed down now. I don't know whether I should showcase it. <laughs> we just skipped the entire thing. I've never even tried it. I was like, wait. But it looks like it could work if we approach it at the right angle. And it did. Can you... I thought you could... Oh, you know, that's where it is anyway. Anyway. Right, I know I'm going to go all the way down here. But as you can see, there's like a... It's like a maze thing for- well, not a maze, it's like a... You know, you can see. You've got to like, spray them platforms. Can we reach them from there? Yeah, you can. See, look, when you spray them, they'll go up and they're only temporary. So you've got to do like a little platforming bit to get all the way up there. And then to get up here, bounce off there and get them off there. Or you could do the speed running technique that I just done. And get up there in about like 4.5 seconds. Like... See, there we go. I just, be I, I belief. That's all it was there. Belief that I could do that, and it worked. Now we're gonna get over here, and this is probably the quickest time I've ever done this bit. And that makes it thirty for us now. But we're gonna get the same cutscene again. I'm curious now to see whether we get them shades or not. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna head back into Bianco Hills, I think, and we, we'll, we'll see if we get our shades. Right. I mean, I do want to get Shadow Mar. Ah, oh, maybe we just go and chase him. But I feel like it's gonna be a cutscene. Wait, I know how much cutscenes there are. I think. But I just wondering whether can they get delayed? Like, I wonder. Like, I wonder if we don't get this for ages. Oh, I haven't read them. A mustache man's been seen running around town holding some type of machine. It's like a news reading thing. It's cool, isn't it? Oh yeah, and Mario is the primary suspect. Yeah, there we go. See, look, the egg is there now, so it takes a little while longer to get to get to get Yoshi because he's further away from the fruit place. Because you, if, if you, and that's only if you need like a chili or something. Cause then you have to go all the way over to the store over there. Like, I like the way you can just take them. Why? Why does Mario get to take them for free? He is a villain in everyone's eyes. So, why on earth does he get fruit for free? Baffling. Oh yeah, and with, I was just thinking Bully. I, I, so, if you've watched my uh, my first episode on there, or my, what's my second? Why haven't my second one? It crashed, right? And it's because Bully on the PC is not actually made very well. Anyway, rats, I was just about to turbo dash to. <laughs> right, so we've got to unlock this now. There we go. 
And I haven't showcased this yet, so I guess we can do it right now. Right? Press and hold R to power up the turbo nozzle and do a super dash, right? And... Yes. This is the cool... This is insanely cool. Stop. You can... Can you use it underwater? Anyway, you can just go really fast. There is places that you can only get into using this. But we're not going to do any of them right now anyway. Anyway, we, we, we actually no, we're going to go back into Peanut Park because we, we can ask the moustached sunglasses dealer in there. Come on. And what I was saying, I watched Bully. I was, this is Swagter. I watched his new video. Um, Rockstar is finally doing something with Bully or something. I think it's called that. Or whatever his newest one is. And he said that they're actually working on a patch for it, I think, currently. So that'll be interesting. I mean, I really hope they pray, um, remaster or do something cool with it. Add more features, right? The Yoshi Go Round secret, right? Another secret for us, which will be the first one of this episode. And I remember we are undefeated on these. We haven't died. We only died on the blooper surfing safari. And that, you know, that wasn't. All right, I'm. Yeah, okay, it wasn't really my fault, was it? All right, now I want to see if I'm right. All right, so. I love the sunshine, but ooh, is ever bright. Here, little man, try a pair of my special sunshades. They're cool. Why do I know this? Like, I don't think I've ever seen this on, like, a fact video or anything. Why did I know that it was 30? It does look cool, though. Anyway, we'll do this level with the sunshades. I, yeah, why did I know that? I don't know why I knew that. I, 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 that's so weird. Because I've got exactly 30 shine sprites now. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Anyway, the Yoshi Go Around Secret, and... Well, I'll show you what you do on this one. There's a lot of things you can do with Yoshi. I, oh yeah, when I was doing the blue coins before, I think this was one I struggled with the least. I think I basically got them all. I didn't really run around much on this one. You know, they were... Right, what's he need? You need some bananas. I think the bananas are up here. Oh no, there, there they are. Why am I playing like a speedrunner? This is beautiful. Ah, right. I wonder if you actually have to match the Yoshi. Because, uh, right. And again, if you didn't know. Oh, look, yeah, Yoshi has a feature where you can do that as well. And all the. Look, see, this one levitates. Right, it goes up. When you use a different thing, so if we get that, like he changes colour, and if you shoot an enemy with it, which, if it's one by your show, showcase this. Um, what does this one do? Does this one move? Or is this one just a block? That one, that, this one, right, that's just a solid one. Right. Oh yeah, there's blue coins in some of these as well. So, let's have a look. Oh, no. How have we got full juice? What do we do? We didn't have to get one then, did we? Anyway, let's see where it is. Is it pink or is it... It is orange, so you might have to go and get it like this. Anyway, stand right there. It takes you into the secret course. Now, this is great. Now, I'm, I'm trying to remember what this one is now. Ah, oh, the one with the blocks. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This could be our first death, but it doesn't really matter now, does it? Right. Let's get over here. Right. We're gonna make a jump to this. Crazy that was. Right, this is 
just gonna spin or is it just gonna take us? That was very crazy. I, yeah, I can't believe we survived that. I was, that, I don't know, if it was, it could be equally as good as the other save. No, nothing was as good as that save. Alright, now we gotta do some sick parkour. Just get you, and then we'll spin jump all the way. Just about make it, and take the shine sprite. There we go. You know, again, we are undefeated on these secret courses. That was nice. We pulled that off very, very, very nicely. Right, we're gonna save and continue. Now I wanna know if we encounter another Shadow Mario cutscene, because we might. Right, we might. There's a good chance we do. Yeah, there is. And I think, I think why we're experiencing them now, I think it's because you've got to do the Yoshi egg one first. See, look, now it tells us, yeah, it, it zooms in on the last, the very last pipe. Right, now we're going to go and get this, the rocket nozzle. Uh, we've got, obviously, w one more thing we want to do in this episode, though, which is peanut park. What is it called? The Mario... I forgot what it's called. Mario... Shadow Mario. Pink Park Shadow Mario level. But we want to begin... We want to begin that done. Where did we actually see Shadow Mario this time? I forgot now. Because he is in different places all the time. He might be on the roof over here somewhere. Yeah, there you go. He's 30. Before you can go to the... Sun Sheds. And there we go, look, there's the pineapple. No, you can't tell me that's not pineapple juice or some pineapple slices. You know, there's a lot of stuff you can actually do in this in the base, in the main world player, with the rocket nozzle. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff you can do with every nozzle. That's why I think this... I, 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 fuck you, Shadow Mario, stop outdoing us. Yeah, that's why, um... That's why I like this game so much, and I think it's one of the best for the base, uh, for the start of the world, it's the hub, the world hub. There we go. Shoot, and I was just about to rocket jump. Too. Always just about to do something when you. Anyway, we haven't showcased this either now, so there's another new item for us. And yeah, this one is. The rocket nozzle, which there we go, it does that for us. And now, finally, right? I'm gonna say finally, we can finally clean this. Wait, we can get it done. We can sh clean the sh shine spray. Does it make it brighter for us here? I think it might actually make it bright. It might make it a lot brighter for us. So we and we've sprayed this in an earlier episode, and you've seen where the shine spray spawns in. It was untouchable for us. Now, it shall be obtainable. Because we've got the rocket nozzle. Right. I meant to... Right. Okay. There we go. And I'm gonna get it. So this is the first shine sprite in Isle, on Isle Delphine or Plaza or whatever it's called. So that makes it 32 for us. Same continue. Will we get another cutscene? Because there's a good chance that we will again. No, right. I, I don't know when the next one comes in. You might need like 40 odd or something or 50 odd. But I feel like it's too short. Like the like there is a lot, right? And if we cashed in our blue coins, we would. How much would we have? Right, we'd have four. Right, it is a lot though, isn't it? Stuff you can do in this game. Anyway, we've unlocked the rocket nozzle, we've got the hover nozzle obviously, and we've got the turbo dash nozzle. So we've got everything now. I think we've basically, yeah, we've basically unlocked all, we've got all of Mario's moves, we've got everything. Anyway, back into Peanut Park, because we need to take down Shadow Mario. Yeah, I I know, yeah, you these are essential, right? So speedrunners what they do, they gotta get to the Shadow Mario level. And like you can skip some stuff out, so I don't think they like they don't fight Petey the Prana, do they? And stuff like that. 
like the first time around. No, they. No, they go and do the bit before the bridge. I don't think they can skip. They skip like a few. But that's all it is. Is like doing glitches to then get the Shadow Mario back. So I think we've done all the cutscenes now. That we can. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think it's then down to doing all the Shadow Mario levels. So including this one, we need four, 15 more sprites. I think to get to the last part of the game. Anyway, this is cool. And uh, well, all we gotta do now is we've seen in every other video. We just gotta take down Shadow Mario. Maybe people don't like this though. The bit we gotta take down Shadow Mario. Because it is just. I mean, think about it. It's six levels. No, seven levels. So seven of these. Plus all the ones in the thing. I meant to spin jump them, but it just missed the bit. The bit yeah. Alright. We'll take him down. We'll do it. I think I'm good at doing all the other stuff in here, but I'm really not good at getting Shadow Mario. Uh oh. Oh, I thought he went down then. He fucking tripped us. There we go, he's down. Darn it. I'll remember this. I think, does he all, he might only say that in these ones. Um, is that gonna come down for us? <laughs> It'd be cool if we caught that one when we was getting electric. Right, and this, the shine, the shine spider was really low to the ground then, wasn't it? Right, anyway, save and continue. Obviously, I don't, we won't get a cutscene now. However, stay tuned because, well, for a few episodes, the, the I think the last cutscene you can encounter on you, yeah, I don't know if there's another one I forgot, so, you, it's obviously someone will know, there might be more, so stay tuned for that if there is more, but when we get all the Shadow Mario ones, then there's a really cool one that you can unlock, yes, a really, really cool one you can unlock. And it's my favourite cutscene on the game. Anyway, next level, I don't know what to do, actually, because, you know, it would be Serena Beach. Like, if, we, if we look at the totals now, see, you could, as you can see, Pianta Village is there, but the next one's Serena Beach, but you don't... You unlock the other one before... You unlock Noki Bay before. You know, uh, it does... It, 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 this feels like World 6. They make... They, they portray this as it is World 6. But un unless it's in a way that right, you're supposed to go and do it as this, you know, you're supposed to play the game as it is. So as soon as you encounter everything, it, like, it intends you to do everything. So uh, what I mean by that is when we go in Bianco Hills, we unlock this, don't we? Then you get, like, one Shine Sprite and then this appears out here. And then you're supposed to, pretty supposed to do that, get another Shine Sprite and then go to the lighthouse over here. And then after you do that and then get the other cutscene with the turtle, you're supposed to go over there. And then I wonder, right, I just wonder, if you get so far into it, where the Yoshi egg is... But I think does this, it must spawn before the level. Right, it, um, Shadow Mario must come out there before the Yoshi egg level. It's like, it, it, yeah, yeah. I, I think, anyway, unless I'm wrong. And then I wonder if Noki Bay appears before... That. No. That appears before Noki Bay. I wonder if you can get it to happen. Because it, it looks like it is intended to be the fifth world. It just always, like, you know, you're always going to do a, a few more in the first world. So it never, it never looks like the fifth world. Anyway, that's enough of what I had to say. If you know what I mean, you probably know what I mean. But the next episode, I probably will be going into Serena Beach and starting it. And it, I can get into more details in the next episode why that is my favourite level. Let's just say everything about the level. It's just, to me, it's my favourite level on this entire game. And if I had to a tier list, I'd say number one would be Serena Beach. Um, or, or Bianco Hills, maybe Bianco Hill. No, Ser Serena Beach number one. Yeah, Serena Beach definitely number one for me. I don't know, it just... Always puts me in a good mind, uh, mindset. Always makes me feel better. And then Bianco Hill is number two, I'd say. Then let's have a look around. I'd say 
Pianta Park, a Pianta Village. Is it? Yeah, Pianta Village number three. Uh, Pina Park number four. And then it's a close on Galato Beach and Rico Harbor. I do like Rico Harbor, but it could be my least favorite. Playing it, like when you play this game again, it could be my least favorite. No, I'm going to say Gal uh, Galato Beach is my least favorite level. Even though it's like one of the most iconic ones on this game, and it's probably a lot of people's favorite. I don't think I like it as much. You know, I don't think I like her as much. Anyway, with all that being said, this is going to be the end of episode six. We have made a little bit of progress in this level. We haven't got much. We didn't get much blue coins in this one. But I oh, basically this episode was just me showcase. I wanted to. I wanted to show. Definitely showcase up there before we actually were supposed to go up there. And I think that's cool. So the next episode will probably be us in Serena Beach. And we'll probably do... I know, I, I want to do Noki Bay because I every time I used to play this game before, I used to treat that as the fifth world. And I'm still going to treat it as the fifth world in my mind. Right, so Noki Beach. I think we want to leave Serena Beach to a little bit long, like a little bit le like further down the line. Yeah. So, I don't know. I might come back and do a video right after this. So, I don't know. It's either this now or Saints Row. And Saints Row is a massive task for me to get all the collectibles. It's going to take a, a really long while. So I think I want to stick to playing this. I do want to start Cars Mate National very shortly as well. But I don't know what to play on. Oh, and another announcement. See, I bought this when I first started recording. And the first game I tested was Mario Sunshine. I think on the, it was either on the Switch or the actual GameCube. But I don't, the picture didn't come out right on the GameCube. But it did record on the Switch. But because I, I didn't have a graphics card back in 2021, it was like chopping like the video but now I've got a graphics card and I can do it but I need to get one of these wires again so when I get one of them USB 3.0 A to C wires I can finally finally use my 60 S plus I don't know how much this costs because this doesn't 21 it's probably the newest one out then I'm thinking this might have cost like 160 pounds or something seriously like, it might have been a lot I've never used it. I've only done one. I think I've done like one Mario Kart 8 deluxe video on there. It's like an hour testing it, but it was all choppy, so. Anyway, with all that being said, I will we'll get that. And I, maybe I could do, maybe I could actually do Cars Mate National on the Xbox 360. Now, that would be better, I think. So, yeah, I'll probably wait to do Mario, uh, Mario uh, Cars till probably the start of next year or something. But the next video is either going to be... I'm either going to do Saints Row or Mario Sunshine. So, or both. So, anyway. This is the end of episode six. Over and out. <laughs> News flash: Stephen Disflux has been investigated for child trafficking. <laughs>